Today, it's all about the markets, and I'm starting out back in the single at the world-famous Blumenmarkt, Amsterdam's flower market. Opened in 1862, flower stalls stand on individual houseboats here in the market. Open all year round, it's one of the most colorful places to visit in Amsterdam, even on a cloudy gray day in December. Next, I headed to the Albert Cup Market, just outside the canal ring. This is pretty much an outdoor mall. You can buy wigs, extensions, cheese, sausages, clothing. You can find absolutely everything you could ever imagine at the Albert Coit Market in Amsterdam. The market is the busiest in all of the Netherlands and is allegedly the largest daytime market in Europe. My mission, of course, is to taste the market. It's Turkish. Turkish, okay, great. Yes. Moving on, I hit a Turkish food stand with the most incredible gozleme, a traditional savory Turkish flatbread with spinach and feta. Yes. Beyond good. Thank you. This is gonna be hot. Mm. This is a cream with marzipan. Marzipan? Yeah. After a little marzipan, mm. it wasn't long before I found what I look for at every market, sausage. Yeah, I will have one of these. And it did not disappoint. Look at that awesome sausage. Mm. This makes this market the perfect experience. The power of food bringing people together never ceases to amaze me. It is truly a universal language. After a morning of outdoor markets, it's time to take this inside at my favorite indoor food market, Food Holland. This place is the bomb. Located outside the ring in Amsterdam's hip Oud West neighborhood, Food Holland is a sophisticated indoor food market and bar concept serving incredible street food and drinks. For a quick lay of the land, I met with Bernard. As you can see, long straight run down, really nice open, super lighting. We have uh, 21 different food stands from everywhere around the world. It wasn't long on the tour before I found Habugo, an Iberico ham bar, a slice of buttery ham heaven. One is sebo, it's young and from shoulders. Mm. Young and salty. I love how buttery it is, always, man. It is buttery. Oh, so good. You trying yeah. to take my job? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> to wash it down, a trip to the beer bar, which boasts over 65 different beers, mostly local. Basically a beer for any person. You here at Food Holland yeah. collaborate with the local brewery yes. to come up with the, the beer the, and the flavor, the yeah. recipe. As you can see, this beer here, as I said, is 5.5%. Really nice fruity style blonde with a slight citrusy mm. undertone to it. Give that a sip, it's delicious. One of my personal favorites. Oh, is that, oh, is that nice? Good? Yeah. And with Food Holland's communal style seating, this is a great place to meet new friends and to people watch. There's a lot going on here. To our right here, we have the, the Bullen Bar. And one of my favorite stops at Food Holland is to De Ballen Bar a stand that serves the classic Dutch treat bitterballen, a savory fried ball of gravy traditionally made with leftover roast and vegetables and served with mustard. So we've got a also really nice uh, dipping sauce here. It's one of my personal favorites, the truffle mayo. Truffle mayo, yeah. wow. Smell, oh, super nice and rich. And then uh, just really nice traditional mustard. Oh, wow, the Good, truffle eh? is awesome. Really nice, gives that nice kick and um, yeah. Truffle, as you know, it's a very special mm. ingredient. Dig in. Yeah, careful. They're nice and hot. <laughs> but, uh, That's the said, trick about the bitter bone, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you got to take it with some caution, but uh, it's definitely worth it. Have you made bitter bone? Me personally, no. no I'm easy. not much of a They're cook, easy. to be honest. I'm a bartender. Really? Not well, a chef. you don't need to be when you're over here. Exactly. No, it's really nice. Yeah. I think this is a spinach one. Mm. Oh, delicious. Mmm, so traditional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take a sip of beer, it helps. Mm -hmm. mm. On the left here we have the petit coteau. 
Okay. You can see I've got more nice little... Um, the Santa Claus cookies for yep. today. Santa Claus, yep. Nice, uh, nice Christmas theme. And then the gin and tonic bar. Today we're going to be making the, um, the Sir Edmund. It's a really nice special style gin. A vanilla flavored gin in a Copacabana glass. And the glass is very important in the making of a gin and tonic. And when pouring the tonic, over the back of the spoon. So that when you pour it doesn't hop out of the glass. Give it a little swirl wow. around. Garnish with some orange and toasted cinnamon. This As is I a said, two hander. Yeah, two hander. It's a nice big roll. Oh my gosh. You get that real nice flow of the cinnamon, the orange. Right in the nose. Right into the nose. It's good. <laughs> it's better than good. Yeah, it's delicious one. It's yeah. amazing. Again, one of my personal favorites. Oh my gosh. Super I get the fresh, vanilla, the vanilla. cinnamon, the orange, the yeah. bite of the tonic yeah. and the juniper berry. Brilliant. So complex. Yeah, hey? Brilliant is right. Yeah. Enjoy. Another one of my favorite stops at Food Holland is to Taqueria Lima for the most colorful and delicious tacos. It's a must. You cannot come to Amsterdam without visiting Food Holland. The food, drinks, and atmosphere are one of a kind. For dinner, I met up with local chef Andrew Harcourt, who took me to one of his favorite restaurants, Intefer de Barsha. Intefer de Barsha is a long-standing local hotspot from the 60s, and the place for traditional French classics prepared tableside. When you arrive, head straight downstairs to the bar. The more subtle the taste is get, the influences from the wood, Catching up with Andrew at the bar, he introduced me to Oud Genever, a juniper-flavored spirit. Think of it as a Dutch gin with a high proportion of malt wine aged over a year in oak casks and served in a clay bottle. Very, very smooth. I was leaving a really nice buzz on my tongue. Yeah. It's really nice. I was like cucumber. The food at Intefir de Barsha is amazing. And to start, we begin with a fresh and local shrimp cocktail. I would say, spend a day with the fisherman who peels this every day. Sweet and tender. Some smoked Dutch eel. So no you way. just uh, yeah, just take just take a piece first like that. Okay. I can promise you on toast. Sauce or no? No, sauce? put some toast and some butter. All right. And keep it first time it's simple or, or this uh, whatever. What, what, what would you do? What would you test sauce? Uh, to do some of this then a little bit. Enjoy. The richness, the fatness really? of the eel. There's a little bit of uh, acidity in the sauce that balances the really fatness good. of the, the eel. It's beautiful. And even a plate of wild game pate. Wow, is that rich? Yeah. Oh. rich. And to pair for dinner, we'll start with a burgundy with earthy notes of red fruit. I mean, how can you go wrong? You can. Dinner was all about tableside classics, starting with stroganoff sauce for the Chateaubriand. There are 21 ingredients in this secret sauce, so listen closely and you can do this at home. Butter, onions, leek, pearl onions, red and green sweet peppers, garlic, paprika, cognac, red wine, vodka, ketchup, regular and spicy mustard, chili sauce, Tabasco, Worcester sauce, celery salt, heavy cream, salt, and pepper. The smell of the sauce was incredible, not to mention the show. Beautiful. And as you may have guessed from earlier footage featuring Mr. Lobster, that was as well on the menu tonight. A flambe of lobster with hollandaise sauce. Succulent and so delicious. Sweet, the leeks, the lemon, the hollandaise. And the rabbit. The saddle roasted to perfection, juicy and served alongside a red wine and juniper berry reduction with stone fruit. Little bullet from the hair. No. Yeah, of course. A shot. You have to be careful. Yeah, of course. Say how again? do you? There's a little bullet from the rabbit. That's awesome. And Dinner was beyond fabulous. For dessert, another tableside classic, of course, crepe Suzette. Delicate crepes flambéed in butter, sugar, and Grand Marnier, served with a fresh orange and fresh whipped cream. A sweet ending 
to a delicious evening. Mm. Dinner was incredible, but bring your wallet and forget your credit card because this dinner was expensive at 600 US dollars and they only take cash. Amsterdam's food scene is unique. From traditional sweets and savory treats to hip concepts and markets with outdoor and indoor street food from all over the world and bars and restaurants that bring back the 60s classics. This is Amsterdam. Okay.